Well, James Boys is a professor of international political studies at Richmond, the American University in London. He joins me now in the studio. James, good to see you. So why the change of heart by Donald Trump? Why is it so damaging now for Robert Mueller to testify? I think this administration has been very successful at containing the optics coming out of this report. Uh, they put their four-page summary letter out before the redacted version was seen, uh, and then when the report was finally uh, revealed, uh, we saw the Attorney General giving his uh, assessment before that report was, was made public. I, I Pretty sure that what the administration is concerned about now is the idea that uh, an unleashed Robert Mueller, quite frankly, uh, before uh, House Democrats uh, would be able to give a, a full and uh, unredacted accounting of what it was that was in quite an ambiguous report in many respects. Because that four page letter that you talked about, the initial thing before the redacted report mm -hmm. came out, the Trump administration took that as a full and complete exoneration of him. It now seems there are some shades of grey, and Robert Mueller is the man to shed, uh, shed some light on that. Yeah, I think that the, the call for the House Democrats for Robert Mueller to come and testify under subpoena if necessary was likely as soon as that report was released and inevitable as soon as it became clear that Robert Mueller had written a letter to the Attorney General um, revealing his concerns about the, uh, the gulf bet between what was in his report and how it was that the Attorney General was presenting this material to the American public. Yeah, and of course, the next big question, I guess, is where do we stand at the moment on the question of impeachment, something that some Democrats would very much like to pursue Republicans presumably would not. Um, I want to read you, first of all, um, Nancy Pelosi, who's the House Speaker, prominent Democrat, of course. She's got her own plan for um, how to defeat Donald Trump in 2020. She's been quite outspoken, saying that she doesn't think that impeachment is the right plan. Uh, in an interview with the New York Times, uh, she says the Democrats needed a need to win next year's election by such a huge margin that Mr. Trump can't possibly challenge the legitimacy of the victory. So how will that work? She goes, she says, um, do not get dragged into a protracted impeachment bid that will ultimately get crushed in the Republican-controlled Senate, and do not risk alienating, the, alienating rather, the moderate voters who flocked to the party in 2018 by drifting too far to the left. She ends by saying, own the centre-left, own the mainstream. Our passions were for health care, bigger paychecks, cleaner government, a simple message. This is something that the Democrats have been stuck on for quite a while, isn't it? How to get that simple message compared to the make America great again that the Republicans have. Absolutely. And it's fascinating to see how Nancy Pelosi is trying to steer the party here. And so far, she's been quite successful. Of the 20 candidates who've announced uh, their intention to seek the presidency for the Democratic Party, uh, really three uh, have stuck out as being uh, defying Nancy Pelosi with regards to this. Um, I think what Nancy Pelosi is looking at here is the political reality, which mm -hmm. is that impeachment begins uh, with the House of Representatives. They would potentially decide whether there is move areas to move forward and then could impeach the president but then it would move to the senate as you rightly point out that is in, in the hands of the republican party and with people like lindsey graham for example uh having very senior positions there it is at this point let's put it unlikely uh, in the extreme that they would possibly remove donald trump from office yeah and impeachment of course is a costly process as well one wonders about the mood in the american public at the moment is there any appetite for this sort of process well indeed it's also a time consuming operation yeah. as well i mean we stand here now in uh, in early may this time next year we're well into the primaries uh, and then uh, six months after that uh, it's the election itself what nancy pelosi is hoping for i think is a complete uh, vindication of the democrats position which would remove Donald Trump from office uh, through the electoral process. I would hasten to point out, however, that the American people have got a very strong record of electing each party to a two-term uh, record in office. So at this point, okay. with the economy where it is, I think Trump's in a strong position. Okay, because the economy is doing Absolutely. so well. James, great to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed.